Welcome back. All right, so we're going to talk about the Senators some more today, aren't we? Michael Landlauer uh, giving a press conference and confirming what we suspected. So Steve Steos is in as the interim GM. When Steos was hired, it was only eight days after he took over as the Senators owner. And there was always the discussion that Steos would be lockstep with Landlauer. And of course, then the question comes in of, so he's going to bring in his own people. Now, at this press conference, when asked about DJ Smith, doesn't sound like DJ Smith's job is in any jeopardy. Although Andlauer's not all that happy with the start of the season for the Sens, right? The very inconsistent results. So, uh, his statement was this. My first 30 days as owner of the Ottawa Senators exceeded my expectations. Uh, unfortunately, our last 10 days have not been so much fun for me. So, I put by instead of mine. But you guys know what I mean. Uh, so, basically, with everything that's going on around the Sens right now, he's not enjoying himself. Uh, the league shared a 73-page report on the Dodonov trade with the Senators last week. 73 pages. Uh, and saying that it embarrassed the league and pissed off two other clubs. Apologies for the language. I normally wouldn't, but hey, you know, he said it. It was said. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the, the Vegas Golden Knights weren't looking for any kind of compensation either. Basically, this was that, you know, Vegas had been blamed at the time. And so they wanted to be exonerated. They weren't looking for any kind of punishment for the Sens or anything. And so this is something that for Andlauer, it doesn't sit well with him. Uh, he discussed with Steve Steos last week after talking to Bettman uh, this, this situation. And they agreed there need to be a discussion with Dorian. And so the discussion with Dorian took place. And last night, uh, apparently they, they, they had dinner together. And it was decided over dinner it would be best to part ways. So basically Andlauer is saying, look this is going to have to cost you your job and Dorian kind of agreeing with him and going, yeah, the buck stops here. So it's about the fact that, you know, the GM was seen as negligent in this instance, uh, didn't do his homework and whether it is completely his fault or not, he's out. So yeah, uh, he also believes the team should have been told sooner about Pinto's investigation. So they didn't really know what was going on with Pinto until not too long before the punishment came out. So there's, there's some situations here they're not happy with, and he doesn't understand why the Dodonov fallout took this long. 591 days since that trade failed to go through because of the whole thing about the no trade clauses. So I agree with Andlauer on that, absolutely. I don't know why it takes this long when it's something that we didn't learn anything new from this, just that, yeah, the, the no trade clause, it was the, no, the, the 10 team note, I think it's the 10 team no trade was put in by Dodonov. Ottawa said, nope. And so Vegas took them at their word and made the trade. And then Dodonov got that trade rescinded. So really, this is a situation where I, I don't know why it took this long either. It seems really, really odd. But Vegas wanted to make sure that people would stop blaming them for it. Uh, and the NHL did not advise Michael Andler about either investigation before he buys the team. So the comparison, and, and my wife and I talked about this, and it, it's very similar to when you buy a used car and somebody doesn't disclose if it was in an accident, somebody doesn't disclose if, uh, you know, the head gasket's going to go. They won't tell you anything, just you're driving around after you got the car and all of a sudden something's wrong and you find out it's something they knew about. But they didn't want to tell you because they knew you wouldn't pay as much. So for Andlauer, pays almost a billion dollars for this team. He wasn't aware of these investigations before he took over. So he's not happy with the league for that. Again, I'm in I'm I'm in agreement with Adlauer on that. The league should have let let him know. Um, I would think that means none of the potential owners knew about these things. And there might be some guys who didn't get picked that look at this and say, you know what? We we might have lucked out here not spending that much money on a team that clearly there's there's some work to be done. So we'll see what happens from here. Uh, Steos is seen as a guy that Andlar has a lot of trust in. Uh, we'll see if he makes any moves. It Again, I've seen Sens fans saying, well, you know, what about the coach? At this point, it looks like the coach's job is safe. But how long is a coach's job safe for? Not very long, right? We have seen GMs, owners come out. Oh, yeah, no, we believe in this, in this coach. And then weeks later, we're talking about how that guy's being replaced. So... Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, I was going to do a Paul Stastny video today. I think I'm going to gonna push that back to tomorrow only because there's so much news with the Sens that's dominating things right now. The Stastny video would kind of get buried in comparison. So I'll look for that one tomorrow. 
So apologies for those looking forward to today, but I want to be able to give it the proper amount of time and attention and make sure that it, it gets the attention as well when it posts online. So uh, let me know your thoughts regarding the Andlauer press conference. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.